I missed the first part when you talked about the, uh, the Mayan origin story. You said something about Siberia? They're coming from Siberia. They were the oldest skeleton ever been found. Uh -huh. 13,000 years old. Or they done some DNA tests to the skeleton and the skeleton is older, the roots of the DNA is coming all the way from Siberia. Oh, so they did the DNA? Yes. So they traced it back to Siberia? Mm -hmm. That's how they know. A haplogroup is a genetic population group of people who share a common ancestor on the patriline or the matriline. Top-level haplogreps are assigned letters of the alphabet, and deeper refinements consist of additional number and letter combinations. The human Y-chromosome haplogrep Q, also named Q, M242 in accordance with its defining mutation probably originated in Central Asia and Southern Siberia during the time period of 15 to 25,000 years ago. Okay, well I still haven't told you at what time the Native Americans, or I should say this Branch Q, arrives in the Americas. So you run all this analysis, Branch Q arrives in the AD 300s to 600s. Not 15,000 years ago, 300s to 600s. Now we're going to unpack what this means here momentarily. But if you've read anything about Native American history, this might raise an immediate question in your mind. We do have an archaeological record, not 15,000 years ago. What is the most common haplogroup for Native Americans? To access the timing, places of origin and extent of admixture between these components, we performed an analysis of the Y-chromosome haplogrep Q, which is the only Pan-American haplogrep and accounts for virtually all Native American Y-chromosomes in Mesoamerica and South America. So, Siberia and Mongolia, that's pretty much the same thing, because they were saying that yesterday, and mm -hmm. so yesterday they were saying they were coming from Mongolia. It's the same thing so, as America. Okay. Just that Siberia is a little more... Up north, yeah, yeah. And Mongolia is like near China, yeah. Actually, for example, the, a lot of the Maya babies, a lot of them, but a lot of them, yeah. they, they will have a, a spot here. That's right. called the Mongolic... Uh, the Grand Dora Horses. Yeah. Really? The Grand mm -hmm. Dora so... Mongolian spots are gray glued to brown macules or patches located in the lumbosacral gluteal region. They affect the majority of Asians, Aboriginal or Proto-Americans, and American Indians but are rare in Caucasians. Mongolian spots are well-defined, benign brown, blue-gray or blue-black patches that are usually located over the sacrum or lower back. They are present at birth or early infancy in over 80% of Aboriginal or Proto-Americans and Asian babies, with a lesser incidence in lighter skinned races. So, uh, usually it goes away with the years, yeah. but uh, at the moment of birth they have a heat. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And I heard you have seen a tour, and I went through the tunnel, but I heard one of the other ladies that, that was uh, actually uh, doing the tour, he said, mine is very short. <laughs> Still like five feet, are we talking five, five, or what, you know. <laughs> Not two? I don't know how much that in feet. Yeah, about five feet. Yeah, yeah, well. It was no joking like this. Yeah, so, so who were who were taller? I said you were taller first. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. The number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is. Please note, the new number is.
so, but even though that, today we have Maya with blonde hair, with blue eyes, just speak no Spanish. Because of the mix-up, because of the mix-up, yeah, yeah, yeah. it looks like a very European version of it. Oh, very interesting. Thank you.